Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer photos from your Android to your iPad Pro. So on both the Android and the iPad Pro itself, I want you to open up settings, connections, Wi-Fi, and make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi network on your Android tablet as your iPad Pro. You can see I'm on different networks, so let's just fix that by connecting to the exact same Wi-Fi network on both devices. The next step is what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the internet browser on both devices and we're going to head over to the URL, which you see right here, snapdrop.net. So pause the video if you need to, and then enter in that URL. So I'm going to enter in this URL now on the iPad Pro. There we go. And so before you uh, do the next step, make sure you refresh the page on both devices. So refresh on this Android, refresh on the iPad. And so all you need to do is just give it a couple of seconds, and you should see uh, your Android and your iPad shop on both devices. So in my case, that hasn't shown up. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna check, and you can see I'm connected to a VPN, that will cause issues. So I'll just disconnect from the VPN, like so. Then we are on the same network, so that's fine. I'll try that again. So I'll just refresh the page. And there we go, you can now see my iPad is now showing up. You see the chocolate dog, Mac Safari. So this name here will be random, and then the Mac Safari is just the browser you're using. So the next step is just tap in to the iPad, then tap on files, and then from here you just want to select the photos you want to move. So just tap on the triple lines here, images, camera, and that will show with the images from the camera. So you just long press to select, and then if you want to tap on the triple lines here, you can select all if you need to. But I'm going to show you how to transfer one photo and how to transfer multiple ones. So we'll just tap on select, and you can see it will transfer. You see the file received. Ask to save each file before downloading. I'll showcase what that does in a bit. So we'll just tap on save and you'll see this message. Just tap on download. And just like that, the photo is transferred. So if I tap into it, you can see it right here. You can tap on the save or the share and then you can tap on save image here. Now also, if I open up the files app and I go to on my iPad, downloads, you should see that image which has recently been downloaded. So let's tap on the button here, I don't know what to call it, and we'll filter by date. You can see that is the image that was just transferred. And so what you can do is, uh, I'm gonna show this right now, is when we transfer multiple, we're gonna head over to Safari. So we'll just refresh the page here on both devices. Do this every single time you do a new transfer. We'll tap on the icon, files, and now we'll just select five images this time. So you long press. And you can't do a, a swipe like you can do on iOS to select multiple. You do have to tap on each one individually. But again, guys, you can tap on the triple lines and select all if you would like. So we'll tap on select. That's going to transfer each one of them. So one thing which is annoying about iOS is they limit the amount of downloads you can do. So you have to have here, ask before saving each file on. Otherwise, the images won't save all at once. That's a glitch inside of iOS. So we'll tap on save, download, save, download, save, download, save. I know it's uh, not the best, however, it's a bug in iOS, so you just have to do one by one. You can see all the images which are downloaded. i move my Android out of the way as I don't need it anymore. And so all you're going to do is, if we want to transfer the photos from the Files app to the Photos app, we're going to open up the files, and you're going to go to, on my iPad, Downloads. You're going to see all these recent photos. Again, you can filter by here. Date, make sure you filter by date. And I just filtered the wrong way. So I'm just going to go tap on the up arrow. So you can see all the latest photos. You tap on select. And on iOS, thankfully, you can swipe and drag to select multiple at once. So I'll just select all these photos here. Share. And then save 10 images. Tap on that. And what it will do is it will save it directly to your photos. So if we go to recents, you can see all those images. They are now successfully transferred over to my iPad Pro. That means from here, you can select all those photos again, and you can delete them from the file. So select them all, delete, and just like that, you're good to go. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.